operation of whole numbers. Okay, so what are the four basic operations? We have one, addition. Second is the subtraction. Third is multiplication. And the fourth is division. So these are the, the four basic operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let's start with addition. The mathematical expression of addition is written as 34 plus 15 is equals to 49. Or can be written as 34 plus 15 is equals to 49. Where 34 is an add-in and 15 is also an add-in. Where the 49 is the sum. This can be read as the sum of 34 and 15 is 49. Or 34 plus 15 is equals to 49. Or simply 15 added to 34 is 49. Next, subtraction. The mathematical expression is written as 884 minus 375 is equals to 509. 884 is the minuend, where 375 is the subtrahend. And the answer is called the difference. This can be read as the difference of 884 and 375 is 509. Or 375 subtracted from 884 is 509. Or simply, 884 minus 375 is equals to 509. Next is multiplication. The mathematical expression of multiplication is written as 25 times 15 is equals to 375. Or 25 times 50 is equals to where you multiply 5 times 5 is equals to 25. Write 5, carry 2. And 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. And then 1 times 5 is 5, and then 1 times 2 is 2. You add these numbers, we have 5, 7, and 3. So the answer is 375, where 25 and 15 are called the factors. And the answer is called the product. This can be read as the product of 25 and 15 is 375. Or, when 25 and 15 are multiplied, the result is 375. Or simply, 25 times 15 is 375. Next is division. The mathematical expression is written as 38 divided by 7 is equals to 5 remainder 3. Where 38 is the dividend, 7 is the divisor, 5 is the quotient, and 3 is the remainder. This can be read as the quotient when 38 is divided by 7 is 5 and the remainder is 3. Or 38 divided by 7 is 5 remainder 3. Next is the properties of addition and multiplication. First is the commutative property of addition and multiplication. Where if A and B are any two whole numbers, then A plus B is equal to B plus A. This means that changing the order of the addends does not affect the sum. Where A times B is equal to B times A. This also means that changing the order of the factors does not change the product. Examples. In addition, 5 plus 2 is equal to 2 plus 5 where 5 plus 2 is equal to 7, and 2 plus 5 is also equal to 7. In multiplication, 5 times 2 is equal to 2 times 5, because 5 times 2 is equal to 10, and 2 times 5 is also equal to 10. Next is the associative property of addition or multiplication. If A, B, and C are any three whole numbers, then... A plus open parenthesis B plus C close parenthesis is equals to 
open parenthesis a plus b, close parenthesis plus c. This means that changing the order of the addends does not affect the sum. The same with a times open parenthesis b times c is equals to a open parenthesis a times b, close parenthesis times c. This also means that changing the order of factors does not change the product. Examples. In addition, we have uh, open parenthesis 5 plus 2 close parenthesis plus 4 is equals to 5 plus open parenthesis 2 plus 4 close parenthesis. Where if you add these numbers, you'll have 11. Also 5 plus 2 plus 4 is also 11. The same with multiplication. So, open parenthesis 5 times 2 close parenthesis times 4 is also equals to 5 times open parenthesis 2 times 4 close parenthesis. Because the answer will also be the same, which is 40 is equals to 40. Next is identity property of addition or multiplication. First is the additive ad identity. If A is any whole number, then a plus 0 is equals to a, or 0 plus a is equals to a. This means that when 0 is added to any whole number, the sum is always the number itself. Multiplicative identity. If a is any whole number, then a times 1 is equals to a, or 1 times a is equals to a. So any number multiplied by 1 is the number itself. Example, addition, 0 plus 8 is equals to 8, and 8 plus 0 is equals to 8. So any number added with 0 is the number itself. In multiplication, 18 times 1 is equals to 18, and 1 times 18 is equals to 18. So any number multiplied by 1 is the number itself. Next is the zero property of multiplication, where any whole number multiplied by zero is always zero. So a times zero is equals to zero, or zero times a is equals to zero. Examples, 22 times zero is zero, or zero times 22 is zero. 287 times zero is zero, or zero times 287 is zero. 17 times 0 is 0, or 0 times 17 is also 0. And lastly, 2,538 times 0 equals to 0, or 0 times 2,538 is equals to 0. So no matter how short or long the number is, once you multiply it by 0, the answer is always 0. Next is the distributive property of multiplication over addition. For any whole number, a, B, and C, we have A times open parenthesis B plus C is where you dis where we use this distributive property. So A times B is equals to A times B plus A times C. Example, we have 4 times open parenthesis 4 plus 7 is equals to first 4 times 4 and 4 times 7. So 4 times 4 plus 4 times 7. So 4 times 4 is 16. And 4 times 7 is 28. So 16 plus 28 is equals to 44. Next is the distributive property of multiplication, this time over subtraction. For any whole number, A, B, and C, we have A times b minus c so this using distributive property a times b minus a times c example 10 times 9 minus 4 so first is no, 10, uh, 10 times 9 minus 10 times 4 so 10 times 9 is 90 minus 10 times 4 is 40 so 90 minus 40 is equals to 50 next is properties of division not all whole numbers. When divided, the answer is whole number. A divided by B or A over B. Example, 10 divided by 9 
is equals to 1.11111. So meaning, the answer is not a whole number. Next is 9 divided by 2, we have 4.5. Still, decimal, it's not a whole number. Next, division by 0 is undefined. If we divide 63 by 0, the answer which when we multiply by 0 is 63, but it's not. So any number divided by 0 is undefined. So A divided by 0 is equals to undefined, or A over 0 is undefined. Example, 72 divided by 0, this is undefined. Any whole number divided by 1 gives the whole number itself as a quotient. So A divided by 1 is equals to A, or A over 1 is equals to A. Example, 10 divided by 1 is equals to 10. 9 divided by 1 is equals to 9. So any number divided by 1 is the number itself. Any whole number except 0 divided by itself give the quotient 1. So A divided by A is equals to 1 or A over A is equals to 1. Example, 10 divided by 10 is equals to 1. 9 divided by 1 is equals to 1. Next, 0 divided by any number except 0 gives the quotient 0. So 0 divided by A is equals to 0 or 0 over A is equals to 0. Example, 0 divided by 10, the answer is a 0. 0 divided by 9, the answer is 0. Okay, so what's next? Can you guess? Homework. Okay, so I hope you try this at home. Write the correct answer on the blank. So try to answer this and comment your answer. Okay, thank you for watching. Again, this is Teacher Gang. And I hope you learned from our lesson for today. Thank you. Bye.